Okay, so we're into Algebra 2 here, and we're looking at Chapter 3, Section 4. It's called Linear Programming. We've got some words we need to define before we can do too much with problems. So our words are constraint, bounded, feasible region, vertices, and then minimum and maximum values. So let's take a sample problem and talk about all of that uh, in relationship to our sample problem. So let's try um, x is greater than, oops, is greater than 1. Um, y is greater than 0, and 2x plus y is less than 6. And let's actually add, make these solid lines. So I'm going to make them solid lines by making them less than or equal to and greater than or equal to here. So here are some, equa some inequalities. These inequalities are going to become our constraints. So let me graph each one of these. So x is greater than or equal to 1. Well, all the values where x is greater than or equal to 1, x is equal to 1 here, and x would be greater than or equal to 1, grab a highlighter, over here, right? This would be the greater than or equal to 1 section. And we could shade all of that in. Oops. A little outside my arrow line there. The next one, y is greater than or equal to 0. Well, if y is greater than or equal to 0, let me go back and grab my pen here. Oops, I was drawing a line. That's what I was doing. Let me grab a line, and we'll grab a different color. So if I want y is going to be greater than or equal to 0, y greater than or equal to 0 would be here. And shading that would be everything above it. So if I take care of everything that was to the right of my red line and above my green line, I'm going to erase off this part down here, which is now no longer part of the answer of both of those. This is like an and. It has to be in both. And then I've got one more constraint, this y equals, or 2x plus y is less than or equal to 6. So if I subtract, oops, I need to grab a pen, subtract the 2x from both sides, this puts it in y equals mx plus b form, so y is less than or equal to negative 2x plus 6, um, which is just a little bit off top of my graph, so cause this is 1, 2, 3, 4, this is 5. So 6, the y-intercept would be up here. My y-intercept is here. And I'm coming down 2 and forward 1, down 2 and forward 1, down 2 and forward 1, down 2 and forward 1. So I need a line there. And let's choose blue for that one. And so that's my line here. If I can get it lined up correctly. And is that one coming down, two, forward, down, down, two, forward, down, two, forward, down, two? Okay, that one looks right. And so then we want to find out if my shaded above it, is it going to be this region up here that's pink, or am I in this little triangle here? So let's fill in a quantity that is 0, 0. That is 0 less than or equal to negative 2 times 0 plus 6. Well, negative 2 times 0 goes away, so is 0 less than or equal to 6? And that answer is true, so I want this little tiny triangle here. That's my shaded region. So I'm going to erase off this part up here, because that's no longer part of it. So now I have my three inequalities become my constraints. Okay. Oops. So let me grab this. So my constraints are my three inequalities. They're what's bounding my region. It puts a boundary around my region. So that's a boundary, and that's a boundary, and this is a boundary. Okay? And this part in the middle is my region, my feasible region. Feasible region is the stuff that's on the inside. So this pink stuff in here is my feasible region. Let me clean some of that off. Okay. So that takes care of constraints. Constraints are the lines that bound, border, the feasible region, the shaded region. Okay? 
vertices are these corner points. So this vertice is right here. We've got a vertice right here. And we've got a vertice right here. So the corner points of your feasible region are called your vertices. Okay. And then you've got maximum and minimal values. Well, in order to have a maximum and minimum value, we have to have another equation. Okay. So let me grab my other equation. So we want to maximize or minimize the function of f of x comma y that's equal to 3x plus y. So we want to find what will maximize this equation. And when we get into word problems, this makes so much more sense. This is one of those cases where you really need a word problem to understand it. And I'll do a word problem in a future uh, example here. Um, so if I want to maximize this, I'm going to look at, well, the corners would be where my m biggest potential for maximizing and minimizing are. So I'm going to take this equation and I'm going to plug in these corner points. Well, I need to find the corner points first. So I know this one's easy. It's the point 1, 0. So let me label that. Let's see, that is 1, 0. Okay, that's point 1, 0 right there. Not sure where to put that so it's easy to read. Um, this point up here, so it goes up. That's at four, um, where y is 4 and x is 1. And is that true? If I plug this into this equation here, if x is 1, that would be 2 plus what is 6. So yeah, so that would be 1, 4. So my point up there is 1, 4. Oops. So that's that vertex. And this one over here um, is going to be where x is 3. If I plug 3 in here, 2 times 3 is 6. So y would be 0. So that's going to be the point 3, 0. 3, 0. Oops. So those are my three points. So I'm going to extend this down. And so I'm going to have uh, basically a table. I'm going to have my x column. Why don't I just put in a table here? So insert a table. And I'm only going to need three points. Oops. Which means I need a few more rows. Insert row. Insert row. And then I want to make this a little bit smaller and put it down here. So I need to know what x is. I need to know what y is. And then I need to know what my 3x plus y would be. So I'm going to take my three points. My first point was the point uh, 1, 0 here. So I'll put 1, 0 in here. So 1, 0. My second point, let's go to the top one, is 1, 4. So let's plug in 1, 4. And my third point is this point 3, 0. So 3, 0. So now if I plug them in, I'm going to have 1 for x and 0 for y. So that's just going to be 3. Then I'm going to have 1 for x and 4 for y. So it's going to be 3 plus 4 or 7. And then I'm going to have 3 for x plus y. So that's going to be 3 times 3 is 9. 9 plus 0 is 9. So those are my values for my function I've been given. And I want to know what the maximum and minimum is. Well, that's pretty easy. Um, this 9 is the maximum and this 3 is the minimum. So if I take and I mark this out, that would be my minimum. And this would be my maximum because I get a big number and I get a small number. So the point 1, 0 is my minimum. And the point 3, 0 would be my maximum. And that's all we're looking for for maximum and minimum values. So here we have it. We've got constraints again are these, e these inequalities. Bounded means they actually make a boundary around a region. That region is called your feasible region. Okay. Your vertices are your corner points. And the maximum and minimum values have to do with this function that you're going to be given that you'll have to find the maximum and minimum value for.